Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us see bipolar junction transistor. What is bipolar junction transistor? This bipolar junction transistor is generally called as BJT. It is a three terminal semiconductor device. This semiconductor device can be used as amplifier for amplification purpose and also can be used as a switch for switching purpose. There are two main application of this BJT and this will be called as a current control device. Let us see later what is a current control device and what are all the currents in this transistor. Before going to that, let us understand the physical structure of this BJT. There are two types of BJT. One is NPN type, another one is PNP type. In both the types, we will be having three regions. They are named as emitter region, collector region and base region. In NPN type, we will be having two N regions. In between, there is a P region. In PNP transistor, two P regions are there. In between those two, we will be having N region. The in between region will be called as base and the other two are named as emitter and collector. So, you can see in the physical structure itself, if it is an NPN transistor, we will be having emitter of N type and collector of N type in between P is sandwiched. Similarly, in PNP, N is sandwiched between the two P regions. This emitter region is heavily doped and base region is lightly doped and collector region is moderately doped. And you can see the symbol of those two transistors. The NPN transistor and PNP transistor symbol look similar but the only difference is that the arrow mark at the emitter terminal. You can see here this arrow mark indicating the direction of current flow will be away from the emitter means from the emitter current is flowing outwards that is NPN transistor. In PNP transistor you can see here the direction of current flow is coming into the emitter and then to the base and collector. So carefully we need to remember the symbol of NPN and PNP transistor and we need to differ the symbols with respect to the arrow indicating at the emitter terminal. So here it clearly shows the arrow at the emitter. This is an PNP transistor. Here you can see the arrow that is indicating current flow going out of the emitter that is NPN transistor. Here base is located in between the two regions. Here this is base. Here also this is base. And you can see this is base of NPN transistor. This is the base in between. And the transistor can be analyzed with respect to the connection of diodes. You can see here, the first one is a PNP transistor. So, two diodes are connected here in such a way that this is P region of this diode and this is N region. This is the PN junction. And here this diode is, second diode is connected in reverse manner. So, this is N and this is P. So, if we combinely take these two, and this is P region and this is another P region, it becomes PNP transistor. Similarly, in NPN transistor, you can see this is N region, this is P of these two diodes and this is N. So, this makes N, P together and N. This is the diode circuit of NPN and PNP transistors. And you can see the terminal voltages and currents in NPN and PNP transistors. In this diagram, in the first diagram, you can see this is the emitter terminal, this is base and this is collector. So, in NPN transistor, the direction will be in this way at the emitter terminal. So, current is flowing out of the transistor at emitter terminal. So, IE is the current, emitter current going out of this emitter terminal and with respect to IE direction, we can directly write IB and IC coming towards the emitter. Similarly, in PNP transistor, you can see 
the direction of current flow indicating at the emitter terminal is towards the transistor means this ie is coming into the transistor and going out from the base and collector as ib and ic this is how the direction of currents can be written in a transistor and always the emitter current will be the total current or the maximum current flow in a transistor it will be equal to ic plus ib this is collector current and this is base current the addition of those two will be equal to the emitter current and voltage as you can see here this is an npn transistor and vbe the voltage between base and emitter can be written as vbe is equal to vb minus ve and similarly the other voltage in between collector and emitter can be written as vce is vc minus ve and there is always a relationship between the currents that will be represented with two parameters alpha and beta here in npn transistor ic will be equal to beta times ib and ic will be equal to alpha times ie and if we rearrange these two we can get a expression for alpha and beta in terms of other parameter so beta can be written in terms of alpha like this beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha so this is a brief introduction about the currents and voltages in transistor and how the operation of this transistor will be and which are all the regions of operation so if we take a npn transistor like this we need to give the voltages means we calling it as biasing so we need to bias the transistor in such a way that the emitter to base junction should be forward biased and collector to base junction should be reverse biased you can see here there are two junctions one is emitter to base junction this is emitter to base junction and this is base to collector junction and we know that to make this forward bias n terminal or n region of the emitter base junction should be connected to negative terminal and p region should be connected to positive terminal of the battery then only we say this junction is forward biased so now it is forward biased similarly this n region collector region should be in reverse bias with the base so so we have connected positive terminal to the negative region or n region collector and negative terminal to the p region so this becomes reverse biased if we connect voltage terminals like this then the transistor will be operate in active region we say you can see here emitter base junction should be forward biased and collector base junction should be reverse biased in the same way suppose if we connect emitter base junction to the reverse bias and collector base junction to the reverse bias again both the junctions are reverse biased the transistor will be in cut off region similarly emitter base junction is forward biased and collector base junction is made as forward biased the transistor will be in saturation region at the starting itself i said bjt can be used as amplifier and also as switch to make it as an amplifier we need to keep the transistor to be in active region to keep the transistor in active region we need to bias the device in such a way that we need to provide the external voltage from emitter base junction as forward biased and collector base junction as reverse biased this rule applies for both npn transistor and pnp transistors also in the next video let us see which are all the different types of biasing and how to use the transistor as an amplifier thank you